before we all have a have a good time at our reception, I would Cookie, would you please come up? I need you back, Bob. This better not be too emotional. <laughs> Just stand here and look pretty, okay? Oh, okay. Okay. I have to tell you, as the director of Lorraine County Metro Parks, that we have received some amazing gifts during my career and my time as the director of the Metro Parks. And, and whether that's a, a $10, uh, $10 gift from a, from a second grade class or a million dollar donation, you know, many, many of the gifts that are given to the Metro Parks far outweigh the dollar value. I visited with a gentleman last Friday who was 86 years old, and he gave me an arrowhead collection that he had collected when he was a child. He did not want that arrowhead collection sold on eBay. He entrusted the Lorraine County Metro Parks to take his arrowhead collection of arrowheads that were collected right here in Lorraine County and care for those into the future. I've got to tell you that when we started to talk about doing the rededication of the Gold Star Mother's Rose Bed, many folks came forward and helped. And one day I got a call from, from our local AMVETS, and they asked me if I'd stop by one afternoon on my way up to Lakeview Park to check on the, check on the uh, progress of the construction. So Mr. Clark asked me if I'd stop by, and I, I drove in that afternoon, and I stopped at the, at the, at the post there, and, um, and I went inside, and I was met by a group of people. And boy, you know, I kind of thought I was in really deep trouble. You know, but they very solemnly took me in the back room, and they had something they wanted to show me. <coughs> Laid out on the table was a Gold Star Mother cape and the two caps that were worn by Mrs. Fletcher from Lorraine that she received because she became a Gold Star Mother as a result of World War II. Mr. Clark and the people there asked us if we would be willing to be entrusted with that cap and that cape that day so that everyone in our county could enjoy it, so that we could honor that by displaying it here at Lakeview Park. I've got to tell you that the responsibility that goes with that is pretty monumental. It's far easier, as Cookie knows, to get a million dollar donation than it is to get... <laughs> but we got something that this time is priceless, right? But this priceless cake and these, these caps honor all of our veterans and the mothers that allowed those children to go forward and serve in, on behalf of their country. I want to tell you a little bit about Olive Fletcher. She was a Gold Star mother from Lorraine, Ohio. Her son, Marine Private First Class Robert Wendell Fletcher, was killed during the Vietnam War while on mine sweeping duty. Mr. Fletcher was 20 years old. We do not know the exact year that he, was, that he, that he died, that he was killed. Uh, the family wasn't able to, to tell us that, but we do know that he died on this day, September 28th. You're going to notice that the caps have yellowed with age, but they certainly stand as a shining example of courage and strength and commitment and dedication by those amazing mothers as they perpetuate the noble principles for which their sons and daughters fought and died. I'd like to ask Mr. Clark, Edie, Cookie, and the mayor of our city, Tony Kershenko, to come forward and have the great honor to unveil our Gold Star Mother, Kate, on this very important day. And they tell me it will come off very Thank you very much. Please enjoy our 